Hey adventurers and welcome to another War of Imperium, War of Imperium <laughs> session here in Ragnarok Online GGH. We are your casters. My name is James. Hey, my name is MG. Yo, yeah. Let's go. MG, it's going to be the second day of GVG qualifiers. So a lot of guilds are getting ready to actually, uh, you know, um, get their chance into actually qualifying yep. for uh, the GVG tournament. Yes. And uh, the prize pool has already been uh, shared to you all, so yeah. make sure to check that out as well. As uh, we are going to give you some uh, details for that uh, later on. But uh, right now, currently, of the way, we have that Yellow Dominary Guild actually attacking the castle. Or maybe not attacking, maybe they're just regrouping here in the castle of Opus Dei. And right mm -hmm. now we're seeing a uh, Dominari with, uh, using a yellow emblem and we have Nonsense as well, we're seeing Nonsense mm -hmm. and LM, Porkchop. Mm -hmm. wow. Yeah, actually, for in the last session though, mm -hmm. um, the allied guilds were um, Dominari, mm -hmm. Opus Dei, uh, Goons, mm -hmm. and um, Arsenal, uh, as uh, what we've been um, you know, informed. But let's see on what will happen for the current Warf Imperium session. Of course, we have some attacking guilds right here, like like uh, Last Nightmare. So this is another guild of Last Nightmare. This is now uh, LN Pork Chop, all right. <laughs> so I kind I kind of like their name. They they put that Pork Chop in, yes. all right. So I'm cry kind of craving for Pork Chop right now. <laughs> they've been uh, they've been shouting that uh, Last of mm -hmm. Imperium. I'm not sure what's the meaning of that uh, Pork Chop. Um, mm -hmm. But still, um, we're seeing good numbers on LN and Dominari right now. We're seeing red Dominari, purple, uh, and uh, yellow Dominari. Yes, and uh, for those of you guys who are watching right now, please do like and share our stream. And uh, of course, you can comment uh, down below. We will read your comments here if you want to shout out your friends, your guildmates, your uh, your other significant players significant other I don't want to say significant others or maybe you have uh, your significant others playing right now in Ragnarok Online GGH when you can uh, shout them out as well and uh, we do have some comments right now right off the bat we have of course uh, Michelle commenting first one of uh, MG's uh, regular fans alright yeah <laughs> okay so you, you cannot deny that but yeah um, Opus, uh, rather, Opus Day's cap uh, a castle got captured right now. So, in, in uh, your regard, and uh, MG, can you please do check your mic because I was informed mm -hmm. by our uh, direct that <laughs> oh, <is laughs> your it... mic is a little bit soft. Oh, so, okay, a little okay, bit okay, soft okay, right now. Let me just uh, double check. Yeah, there okay. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, so for those of you guys who are not aware of what's happening right now, Today is the second day of the GVG qualifiers. So uh, because of the, because there will be an upcoming 7v7 GVG tournament, in order to qualify for the tournament, guilds have to compete in this War of Imperium event to secure a place. Only 16 guilds will rise through this War of Imperium event for this upcoming GVG tournament. There are four designated castles at every session. Capture one designated castle at the end of the session to qualify in the GVG tournament. So for today's session, this is going to be uh, the castles will be Britonia 2, Your Brigar, Baldur 2, Sacred Palace, Valkyrie 1, Kremhild, and Luina 5, Rothenburg. And um, you know, to qualify, of course, for the upcoming GVG, a guild only needs to capture one castle in the War of Imperium event. Any attempts to capture another designated castle while already qualified will result in disqualification. At the end of War of Imperium event, there will be 16 different guilds qualified to participate. A guild must be level 10 and above to qualify in GBG. The 7 participants must have a character level 150 and above. The 7 members must be from that guild only. So, um... You can get disqualified as well if you are already qualified. Yeah. So if a guild captures two or more of the designated castles throughout the War of Imperium session, the guild will be disqualified. So if a guild captures a designated castle in session 1 and it captures another designated castle in session 3, the guild will be disqualified. If any qualified guild is found to prevent 
attempt obstruct or disrupt other guilds in their attempt to capture a designated castle during any of the war of imperium session the guild the qualified guild actions will be reviewed and could warrant a disqualification of course for more information about this event visit our website ro.genjoy.h or join the rogh discord links can be found in the pinned comment of the stream yes all right Okay, so uh, while MG is uh, looking at uh, the other castles right now, uh, we do have some information about the prize pool that was posted uh, a while ago. Yep. So, uh, you know, uh, this is uh, additional information on GVG. So, including prizes for the winning teams of GVG. So, the first place for GVG uh, has a whopping uh, prize of uh, 3,000 USD. And for the uh, the set, uh, of course, plus in-game items. Second place has 1,500 USD plus in-game items. Third and fourth place uh, will win 500 USD each. And uh, yeah, in-game special items for the first eight teams. The item list information can also be seen in the website. So again, you need to check it on the link that can be found in the pinned comment of the stream. All right, so a lot of information about uh, you know the upcoming GVG yep. um, tournament that will happen here in Ragnar Online GGH. That's why guilds are eager to qualify yeah. for the GVG. Exactly. Just imagine like um, just winning the tournament, you will be getting like three thousand uh, USD, and how much mm -hmm. is that in? Uh, you know, forget to convert that. Yeah, uh, yeah. You need to convert it in your own currency. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, All right. So, so currently, uh, we are seeing Ellen right now pushing out a uh, domination. They managed to push in a bit there. They uh, managed as well to regroup a few of their members on the north side, mm -hmm. upper left uh, of this uh, map. But apparently, mm -hmm. uh, we are seeing uh, some of the Arsenal members helping out our yellow dominary, securing mm -hmm. the periphery. And we saw this a uh, classical block on uh, on the defense of last nightmare, a uh, last war Imperium. And I think uh, Dominari is trying to maximize the a double um, um, Rockies or uh, classical block here uh, to prevent mm -hmm. Last Nightmare to uh, push through uh, the yes. defense of Dominari and uh, Arsenal. Yes, actually, your regard is kind of a bit of a hard castle to push uh, event, uh, because of the defense that they have set up right here. They also have different choke points here in the entrance. So right here in the entrance, of course, the portal will be hard to yeah. penetrate. And if you uh, move a bit closer to the Imperium Room, I think we will also see, um, you know, a different defense that can also be set up right there. So um, maybe let's not check that out since yeah. uh, the castle holders are already there in the entrance. But yeah, so this is Yellow Dominari. But um, yeah, they can also see Red Dominari here as well. And... Um, arsenal. arsenal so yeah so a bit of uh, some arsenal members are helping out yellow dominari and red dominari for this dominari for this red dominari guild who is participating right now this is a different dominari guild oh, okay. okay so uh it's it's the, it's in the same dominari multiverse <laughs> 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 all right Don't it's in the same dominari things. lineup all right of dominari but they're using a different guild of course too qualify for GVG yeah. but yeah so they're just holding the defense here in your brigar and other castles for now uh, I think Kremhild will try to attack uh, uh, I, I rather Opus they will try to attack Kremhild or maybe they're trying to defend but because Infinix is here and Oguns is the castle holder so uh, because in the last session though Opus Dei and Goons were allied with one another. They actually paired up to push um, push the last Nightmare's castle. Alright, yep. so maybe they have a defense set up right here. And uh, maybe they are waiting or just scouting out and about for the other attackers. So that they can hold it, uh, you know, and uh, prevent the other yes. players from pushing in very, very quickly. And... Um... Apparently, yeah, it's still uh, it's too early for uh, I think for for a heavy push coming from Ellen. What I'm thinking about what they're trying to do is they're trying to uh, check first which which um, castle is very um, easy to push, 
Mm -hmm. So that's why they keep on stacking on the entrance on uh, your brigar earlier. You just want to make sure that every that that castle is gonna be uh, you know can be easily capped. While mm -hmm. on Kremhild we have uh, we're seeing goons right now. They have a solid defense inside, and I mm -hmm. think this is gonna be another option for uh, last nightmare. Yes. So maybe you could actually check out the uh, Rothenberg Castle. Since, uh, you know, Nemesis Armada, I think, is pushing in as well. And uh, Red Dominari is the one defending the castle. So maybe we might see some attacks here in Rothenburg. But we're not really sure where Last Sniper or LN Porkchop will push. Because, again, they might be just getting ready on uh, where to, you know, spot the defenses of the other players. And if they actually manage to check out the weak points on the, the defender's defense... Um, they can actually push it really, really <laughs> properly and maybe set out um, a decent number of players to go in first, then, you know, yes. attack a second time around. Yes, again, uh, for this fight, uh, for the pointing system or for the slots, they need to have a good information on what castle is going to be open and what guilds are defending. And also, mm -hmm. what allied guilds are uh, helping as well on that castle. Um, mm -hmm. If they want to maximize their uh, uh, their time for that uh, full two hours, mm -hmm. they need to play the uh, scout game here. Not only sticking in one um, castle. We saw that happen to uh, Goons last Warp Imperium. They actually just stick into one castle and they ended up on uh, losing the uh, you know the the push there versus last night there. And right now we have uh, Adonis here trying to punish down single players of Dominari and Berserkulo jumping in Ooh. and uh, no hit there. I'm not sure what happened there. Yeah, yeah. Actually, because of that Shadow Chasers yeah. manhole, uh, the Shadow Chasers manhole can really be annoying to deal with. Of course, um, the Red Dominari also has that Sura. To actually uh, help out in defending this castle, yep. but you know Adonis is preparing to push in. Uh, I am not sure if Adonis is actually allied with someone right yeah. now, but uh, they might be going in solo right here. Are we and... gonna see the magic four today, or is it already uh, done for that session? <laughs> uh, maybe it's only going to be for that session. Yeah. This is going to be uh, a single magician, Adonis. <laughs> It's gonna be tough. The only... well, well, to be fair, Adonis did a good job on our last War of Imperium. Um, I, I think they're they're the ones who's try uh, fronting on every fights on mm -hmm. that Magic Four lineup, and they're the one who's actually dishing out um, big damages on on any uh, defense for mm -hmm. any push that they're doing. So yeah. Yeah, maybe because it's, it was so uh, uh, it was an impromptu alliance. That's why, you know, no coordination were was set up during that time. But let's see if Adonis will push in with someone here in Rothenburg Castle. Yes. Of course, Red Dominari noticed that a lot of players are Adonis already here. So Adonis <laughs> is going to try and push Red Dominari's castle. Curse Circle will land here on the mechanic of a Red Dominari. While that uh, Royal Guard is actually causing a bit of damage. Okay, uh, Land Protector got casted. And you can see here, Adonis will just try and, uh, you know, um, take down some of yes. the members of Red Dominari. Yes, and this is going to be tough on the side of Adonis since um, they're actually near at the entrance. Mm -hmm. And some of the Dominari is already inside. So it's going to be a left and right uh, battle between um, on their side. We're going to see uh, multiple players uh, jumping in from the entrance. Multiple players jumping in um, from, uh, from the... Uh, from inside the uh, castle so if they really want to uh, push in they need to wipe as fast as they can those players and move in mm -hmm. as one yes but i think blessed nightmare will actually push in <coughs> on your brigar castle uh since there are a lot of ln port chops uh port chops outside as well as nemesis armada and nonsense is here as well so uh, they might push in in this castle though. So you can see here that they are setting up. Of course, I think they're just um, you know setting up their parties and everything of those sorts. So I think yeah. that's a good way to actually push in this castle. If you set up your party right, if you have the decent um, you know lineup to attack this castle. So last nightmare is beginning to push in on the defense here of 
Dominari plus members of Arsenal. But last Ooh. nightmare couldn't get a hold of their ground here as we have two classical blocks on the floor. It will be pretty difficult yes. to deal damage against a uh, yellow Dominari right here. So they cannot even get close because of the AOE that our uh, yellow Dominari and Arsenal is dishing out to exactly. last nightmare. Plus, um, those two players on their uh, Dominari, they have like safety wall as well, uh, protecting them for uh, from any uh, attacks as well, you mm -hmm. know. And I just want to talk about the defense of this uh, Dominari. Like, if if you're gonna be on the on LN side, on um, James, how will you take or counter this uh, defense coming from Dominari and Arsenal? Well, if he, I have some DPS members, maybe I can deal some damage against these uh, the ensemble right here. Yeah. And uh, just a bit of dip damage will be okay. So maybe some Royal Guards to cancel that safety wall, and maybe some GX to. Um, GX with a shield on, of course, to prevent that AOE yeah. damage from causing a lot of damage against you. So maybe a single shield um, dagger yeah. GX can actually deal a bit of damage here against the, the ensemble right that was casted on the floor. Or they need, uh, I need to time it right that uh, the classical plucks will get removed like that timing right there. Yeah. The classical pluck just got recasted right there. So I need to time that right. Whenever it gets recasted, because that will be my window of opportunity. Yes. I will push in at that time. So yeah, I need to check that out, of course. And uh, you know, I will need to push in with my mates. Of course, um, the the tanky players will go in first. Maybe the royal guards and the rune knights, as well as the suras will come in second. To if that uh, if that classical block gets removed, I can go in and use that curse circle. Then maybe drop in a mechanic and use yeah. that uh, suicidal structure. Yeah, that's actually uh, correct. Uh, and another thing for this defense, um, they can actually move on the north side. If you're gonna see the uh, sorcerer on the upper left side of this map, um, this is actually mm -hmm. a free uh, free cell. So if they can manage to drop a land protector, then uh, manage to snipe uh, these two players uh, from Dominari to eliminate the classical block on the left side. They can actually just push through from the left, going down to the main stack. And uh, yes, um, you're correct as well. Regarding the uh, suicidal destruction, I think the suicidal destruction will create that uh, massive opportunity for LN and Nemesis Armada to uh, push through this um, Dominari uh, defense that they have. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I think this will be a good option for last nightmare if they ever decide to push in on the castle of um, Dominari right now. Mm -hmm. But uh, Dominari also has a different castle right now, which is Rottenburg. Mm -hmm. And Arsenal, you know, the members of Arsenal that is defending here will actually push in or, or will go to Kremhild if, uh, you know, they get pushed right there. So we might see uh, some, uh, if, they, if they want to break this alliance apart, they need to push different castles at the same time, not only a single castle. So yeah. they need to, you know, organize their alliances that they need to push different castles so the defenses will be split up. Of course, the firepower of each, um, you know, defense will be different if they split up their members so that the alliances will go to different castles as well. Uh, like Arsenal, if they push Kremhild, members of, of Arsenal will go back to, uh, or rather, uh, if they push, um, uh, rather, Goons is in Kremhild right mm -hmm. now, but Arsenal is in Sacred Palace. So if they push uh, Arsenal in Sacred Palace, members of Arsenal will go back there. If they push uh, Red Dominari, which has... Um, uh, not really uh, a lot of members compared to Yellow Dominari right here but uh, you know some members of Yellow Dominari might go there and help out yeah. so you know the defenses will be split up so if they want to really attack a castle it will be pretty difficult but they need the right coordination to do so yeah. and for Dominari's side uh, they need to really check where the main offense will be yes because I think the last uh, Warfare Imperium, what uh, Red Dominari did is since that no one is attacking their um, castle, mm -hmm. they are sending um, help to Goons, I believe that's Goons, right? Uh, versus mm -hmm. last time, last time. So yes, you're correct about that. They need to um, they need to spread out their forces. They need to create um, those um, openings that will uh, you know force the Alliance to move out in a certain castle. And once that um, movement um, occurred, they can actually uh, push through on a 1v1 oh. versus Dominari. Oh, 
Actually, go here in Kremhild Castle. Infinix Reborn has a lot of players, though. Okay, so I just noticed they, they do have a lot of players currently. So they just need to maybe regroup. Uh, I think they have more members compared to the first session of the qualifiers. So, yeah, I think they recruited some members to participate here in the GVG qualifiers. Yes, but again, Goons has a lot of numbers as well. So I'm not sure if that uh, headcount can actually uh, take down the numbers of goons uh, inside mm -hmm. the castle. But let's see, maybe they can actually uh, conquer this with their coordination and uh, you know, with their confidence as well. So currently, uh, we're seeing uh, Ellen as well. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Ellen, uh, we are seeing some goons. The Infinix Reborn is uh, moving in. Nonsense, they don't have a logo, and yeah. yeah um, I think uh, this is just a solo member of uh, solo, the other yeah. but Arsenal will go in and help out. As we were informed, though, Arsenal is also an ally of Goons and uh, Dominat. Oh, okay. And uh, Nemesis Armada, I think they are allied with Nonsense. Oh, okay. Yeah, I believe they are allied with nonsense though. So it's nonsense, uh, nemesis, armada, and chow. That's the the magic three that magic we saw plus Adonis. Oh, okay. so, no so that was the magic four. four. No more magic so I think four. Adonis are going in solo. So there is no wow. more magic four. But with the push here of nemesis armada uh, last sniper, as you can see, some yellow dominaries yes. dominari members are here as well. So they can split up the defense of dominari uh, because uh, if the alliance of the Dominary Alliance actually has a hold of three castles right now. Uh, is that three or maybe four? <coughs> four, I think. Four. Yeah. I think they have a, f a hold of all four castles, though. So Rothenburg, uh, Yorbigar, um, what do you call this? Uh, Sacred Palace, and what do you call it? Uh, Kremhill. So in order for the attackers to actually take advantage of that, they need to be quick in their attacks. Uh, you know, um, create a nice opportunity yes. for them to attack. Yes, yes. Because it's it's really hard. It's really hard to push a castle that has a really well set up defense, like uh, you know, a classical pull up <laughs> on the floor. If you don't have enough supplies or you don't have enough equipment to, you know, tank a lot of those uh, meteor storms landing on uh, the floor. Of course, uh, plus those ne uh, diamond dust and. Uh, storm gust landing. Yep. So we need to create a, an opportunity to strike for you to break the defense. Yep. And at um, the same time, I think uh, I think Nemesis Armada is, mm -hmm. is confident as well because they have Ellen um, with them. Yeah. And uh, we know Ellen that uh, they're very um, good on offense and uh, defense as well. So I think uh, we're just going to try to check on what's going to happen next on mm -hmm. this one if they're going to go in on uh, versus a uh, goon's uh, defense. I think if they can uh, put a good uh, defense there like on uh, on LN side, definitely they can put a good offense as well. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and check in right now. Adonis is trying to contest LN right now. There are no allies here for Adonis. Adonis is jumping in. And they're Ooh, getting the circle, sandwich though. there. Uh, we are seeing a few members of LN and uh, Nemesis Armada wiping Adonis players here. And they just want to clear out the path for their alliance. They just mm -hmm. want to take goons out of this castle. So I think uh, that's a clean wipe coming from LN and uh, um, Nemesis Armada there. Good push. Mm -hmm. I think Infinix Reborn and... Adonis will be a good pair. All of or all of these attackers will pair up with one another to deal with you know the Dominary Alliance as well. So it might be different. It might be a, an alliance versus an alliance. Yeah, I don't know. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, I mean at, at, at first uh, I was expecting like Infinix Reborn, mm -hmm. Adonis, Nemesis Armada. That's gonna be the big three for me. Um, if, if that three guilds manage to walk him up with each other, like they uh, execute. Who's gonna be? Uh, who's gonna do the front line, the mid line, and the back lane? If they can sync that properly, I think that guild or that alliance is gonna be super dangerous um, for this matchup. Yeah, but you know, if uh, this ally or if this uh, if this alliance actually manages to take down a castle, 
um, we saw how last nightmare's defense can be, and it's pretty hard to push it as well. Yeah. So if they set up a defense or if they capture castle and then set up a nice defense for that, they can actually create an opportunity for this alliance to help them out. Of course, they split up the members of the defense because uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of uh, the players of the Dominary uh, Goons Alliance will, you know, attack the castle that Last Nightmare or Last Nightmare Alliance is holding. Yes. All right. So they need to create opportunities for each other right here. So let's see on what uh, Last Nightmare Nemesis Armada nonsense and Shao will do right here. Yes. And I like All what right. they're doing right now. Um, definitely they're aware that uh, some of the alliances of Goons right now is on the move to uh, support Goons for this castle. Mm -hmm. And right now their alliance, Last Nightmare's uh, alliance side, is they're spreading out their members. They're trying to prevent mm -hmm. that backstab uh, push coming from other uh, guilds as well, which is very nice. So they're still maintaining the stack or regroup uh, near the Imperium or preamp, I think. Yeah. While some of the last nightmare are holding the um, um, outside and the uh, uh, portal for this one. So it's really nice. But again, the question there is... Because um, definitely if you're in games and if you're going to see like this, uh, uh, this numbers, definitely you're going to go and push in. But I think mm -hmm. Guns right now is just playing it safe. Uh, they just want to make sure that it's pretty secured inside. And they're not aware that uh, there is no LN for this lineup. Well, if they have a classical pull-up defense set up in the preamp area, I think they need to do, they just need to hold that defense. And of course, uh, la well, last sniper is holding the entrance here of um, Kremhild Castle. Uh, they're preventing the other players from flanking, all right, yeah. or from pushing the main attackers from behind. So they need to be quick in their push, of course. Then allocate a few members into holding the oh. entrance right here. Ooh. This All is what right. I'm talking Ooh. about. Oh my uh, goodness, suicidal, suicidal destruction, destruction yes. coming from goons. Alright, so I think they they are going to make Nemesis Armada push in first. That's so, right. uh... They need to be careful in that. Yeah, they really need to be careful. But with that, uh, you know, the the flag warp here in Kremhild is also pretty, pretty difficult to, to yeah. hold. Because it's in the preempt area. And it's really close to the Imperium room. So they can regroup really, really quickly. But Nonsense is going to be here, of course, to provide the backup. Uh, so I think the, the, the alliance right now is going to be Nonsense, Nemesis, Armada, Chow, and Last uh, Nightmare. Yes. Um, my, my take on that one, yeah, they cannot afford any errors for this uh, War of Imperium. Again, we know that most of the girls right now are just going to turtle it out till the end of the mm -hmm. session. So if they really want to... Uh, to, to win or if they really want to cap a certain castle they need to play it safe especially on the offense as well they need to make sure that there is a lot uh, there's a bit of adjustment uh, from the portal side to their stack area they need to have that um, few cells um, adjustment as well to prevent any attacks coming from from the inside of the castle to, uh, to their members so yes. again that's a really bad uh, bad call there or bad um Defense there coming from um, ne Nemesis Armada and Nonsense. They let okay. that one player um, get inside of their stack. Yeah, and uh, I think that girl with the white emblem or that, is that cloud or the, yeah, the, the oh, emoji. That yeah, yeah, emoji. The emoji, that's oh, mga babaero. Oh. Alright. So <laughs> maybe that's Chao? Oh my goodness. Uh, Arrow Storm though. You can't say the Arrow Storm. Is that, that, I think that's from Nemesis Armada, and they're not allied with maybe, yeah. maybe members of Last Sniper. Or maybe they are just in a non aggression plan. They are not really allied with one, one another right now. So maybe they're just uh, you know making sure not to attack each other. That will be pretty difficult if they are not really in an official alliance, of course. You need to set it up for your guild. But Last Nightmare actually will push out right now since I think. There are other members outside who are trying to prevent them from pushing in. So here in the entrance of Kremhild Castle, wow. Red Dominari is here to support as well as as well as a few members of, of Yellow Dominari. And yeah, we have some comments right here. Go Goons coming from Jimmy. Yeah. Uh, Bandai number one Warlocks in here. 
Shoutouts to Alan Miko. Good luck, everyone. Stacy May of Arsenal here. Hello, Primrose. Um, Arsenal strong, said Atoy. And Atoy strong, said Moira. Okay. <laughs> okay. So right now, right. Dominar is trying to contest um, the offense of LN's alliance. But currently, um, Dominar is getting slaughtered here one by one. They don't have the numbers to uh, defend on this one. But good reaction there coming from the alliance of last uh, LN. Um, but again, the problem here, or, or we we are actually seeing some of the yellow uh, Dominari helping out here. So actually, that's a good uh, a good sign that uh, we are uh, I mean on the side of LN that they're seeing few yellow Dominaris helping out. So meaning the numbers on the defense side on uh, regard is not that uh, solid anymore. Yeah, well, that's what I mean by splitting up the yeah. defense of uh you know the the defending guilds if they are all if the defending guilds are all allied with one another that's how you split up defense you need to push in on different castles well if adonis and probably <laughs> infinix reborn decides to push in on a different castle while the last nightmares alliance is pushing in here in kremhild uh i think that will be a good call since you know they need to defend other castles as well and no no one can actually you know the 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 help coming from the other guilds will be split up as well yeah so they really need to decide on that factor and they, maybe they need to talk it out with infinix and adonis or not to put yes. them from behind um, so it, it will all depend or on, on their diplomacy as well i agree and i don't know if you notice as well james um you're not we're not seeing any arsenal anymore uh, no, yeah arsenal uh, is yes. actually defending Yes, Arsenal is defending. Earlier, we are uh, seeing Arsenal on uh, Yellow Dominary, and some of them are helping as well on this uh, castle. But I think uh, Arsenal is aware that uh, some of the castles is going to be really open. And they're, mm -hmm. and we still have like Infinix Reborn and Adonis can, uh, you know, on the offense side. So mm -hmm. I think they're just going to play it safe, and uh, that's actually a good call if they're just going to sit down and uh, turtle it for the meantime. While they wait for the result of this uh, push coming from last nightmare's uh, LN's alliance, yeah. So yeah. I think uh, Yellow Dominant is the one who's helping right now. I mean, good. Yeah. Um, I mean, you're gonna be amazed on how. People okay, okay, they're, they're pushing. They're pushing. Uh, let's go. Let's go inside. Okay, so it's go. going to be a pretty difficult to push this castle, okay. but you can see here two classical plucks on the floor while goons are all set push. up. Uh, with Opus Day defending this castle, so you can see a lot of AoE um, you know, skills getting casted on the floor right here. Two classical plucks are set up right oh. now. So um, nobody from Last Nightmare can actually push in since it's going to be a very, very long walk. And uh, Nemesis Armada... They're not really here as well to actually, you know, push in. So they really need to scout a castle and decide where to push. Because, uh, you know, two classical blocks are hard to deal with. And uh, I already spotted a castle that has uh, a practically a weaker defense than this one. So uh, yes. I'm not sure if they can spot that as well. But, um, yeah, if they can actually spot that, maybe uh, it, it will all depend on the mind game. Yes. To all the de depend on the mind games of these players. So it is going to be hard to you know really defend a castle with two guilds, you know, two guilds um defending that for you. So yes. if Goods and Opus Day, you know, this is their opportunity right now to uh you know qualify for GVG. Because uh you know they've been having a hard time against Last Nightmare and they've been trying to push a uh, Skogol castle which last nightmare mm -hmm held for about two hours yeah. all right so this is now their chance for redemption because Actually, they yes. want to provide a decent defense that last nightmare cannot penetrate yep and right. I, I think uh the defense on on the side of goons and opus day is pretty solid like even if you can pass through that um classical block like royal guards suras uh, mechanics and other classes will, you know, will will hit you immediately. Mm -hmm. And every cell on that spot after the classical block is occupied as well. Mm -hmm. So if you want to like push through on that stack, you need to click out beyond that stack in order for you to move in. But before you can click that, you will be punished by multiple characters. So 
I'm not sure how they can uh, push this. And I think they need to push the, all of their MDiff up. <laughs> so yes. probably they need a lot of MDiff items plus uh, long range reduction items, of course, to prevent that uh, those arrow storms and dragon's breath from hitting them with a lot of damage. But of course, this is War of Imperium, so long range attacks and magical damage are reduced. Yeah. Uh, they are reduced significantly, so uh, they 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 inflict less damage than on yes. uh, regular PvP. Yes. But they do need more MDF items, of course, if they want to survive and long range um, defense reduction or long range attack reductions. Yes. And but yeah. Yeah, it's really hard to guess. Like every guild has a different um, like. Um, meta for their for their damage um, mm -hmm. output rate like we are seeing like more on magical we're uh, seeing like more on physical type and so on so it's really hard to mix and match sometimes yeah mm -hmm. uh, but I, I just want to point out as well earlier on the defense of goons we're seeing like a uh, um, multiple sacras on those classical blocks so which is uh, that's actually good um, because they they want to make sure that the classical clock is up there up and running throughout the defense like they don't need to worry about uh, the those players just doing this uh, the classical clock will die and so on so that's mm -hmm. actually a good um, sacra coming from goons there and yeah I think uh, goons and Opus Day is a perfect match for this defense they are uh, uh, dishing out uh, good damage right and the defense is pretty solid no um vacant cells that's gonna be available for that land protector they need to push in and let's see if last night we can penetrate uh, this defense on goons and others yeah if they actually successfully cast that magnetic earth or land protector on the floor uh the aoe damage coming from Goons and Opus Day will be significantly reduced. Yeah. Uh, because uh, only Arrow Storms and Dragon's Breath can we'll actually connect, yeah. prevent you from, uh, you know, getting dropped by the defenders. But you know, if uh, if what they call this, if uh, Goons and Opus Day are aware that uh, a land protector got casted, they need to be quick into eliminating that sorcerer who casted that magnet yes. or that land protector. So uh, it will all depend on how they defend and how they attack this. But you know, let's see if Last Nightmare can actually break the defense here of Opus Day and Goon, since they have a solid defense set up here in Kremhild Castle. And we're seeing another battle coming from these two guilds. But in the last session, though, Last Sniper was all alone. But luckily for them, they are the defenders. Yes. And it's practically easier for you to defend the castle. Um, uh, here in our current yes. meta than to attack one because you need less players to defend and uh, you're just holding you're just you just need uh, some classical blocks on the floor and uh, you you need to concentrate on your offense oh. but last nightmare of course is getting uh, damaged heavily from uh, by goons right here we have some I think uh, royal guards just attacking while uh, AOE damage is getting dished out here on the floor right here so uh, it's going to be a pretty hard castle to attack. So I think they need to switch out on a different castle for now. Yeah. So that you know this, the, the defense of goons will be a little bit split up. Since it's pretty hard to penetrate the defense of currently of goons and Opus Day. Yes. Uh, if you're gonna check this high ground on the uh, right side, like we're seeing like multiple dragons left there and uh, like diamond dust casting on that um, on that area specifically on this area like that's gonna be super concentrated like all bombs are gonna be dropping there so the moment that uh, the, your involved from the portal uh, is over you're gonna you're gonna take in all of the damage coming from that um, defense line yes and uh, I think we need to check out different castles right now. I think most of the attacks are concentrated right now on uh, Kremhild Castle. Since, uh, you know, other castles are, I think are kind of vacant right now. I think they are just persistent into attacking that castle for now. Yeah, true. Uh, yeah, actually here in uh, Kremhild, 
um, most of the players are there, the attackers, since uh, you know the other castles are really well defended. Um, if you check out the defense actually of Arsenal later on, if they decide to push that, they are defending the entrance as Ooh. well. So it's um, uh, kind of a different defense, but it's really well set up as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, but I think they are kind of persistent into pushing Krem Hill Castle. Yes. So we have a comment right here from Chris Roniel. Shout out to Goons. And uh, Goons has a very, very strong defense along with Opus Day. A very impressive defense, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and uh, like what I mentioned earlier though, it's easier. It's easier to defend than to attack. But if they are going to attack with really, really full numbers right here, um, I'm not sure if the defense can hold up. But, you know, the the defense or the offense needs to be set up really well. If they decide to push in with a lot of Royal Guards, which are pretty tanky, uh, it's going to be difficult for goons to... You know, penetrate on the penetrate yes. the defense of uh, of penetrate the or attack the, the offenders. But and if you can right see now, here in nonsense is getting more numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. actually in nonsense, nonsense has a lot of numbers right here. They have a defense set up here in Kremhill Castle. They yeah. have the classical block on the floor. Of course, they want to prevent the other guilds from helping <laughs> goons and opus day right here. So I think uh, one of the goals here of um, you know the last nightmare goon, uh, last nightmare nonsense Nemesis Armada, and I think they are allied with mga babaero as well. Mm -hmm. So I think that was that was Chow. So it's now mga babaero. Um, I think they need to uh, you know eliminate members of Opus Day. Yeah. Well, that's that can be one of their main goals, so that Opus Day will have a hard time into. Uh, you know, going back to support the defense here of goons, but yeah, if they don't push it, or if they eliminate members of goons, or if uh, goons and opus they are aware of what's happening, uh, they not they are not going to let opus day push out because if they get wiped out or if they get eliminated outside of their defense right there, it will be really hard for them to support uh, goons in their portal defense. Yes, and right now it's gonna be like whoever the defending uh, or whoever defending the castle will definitely uh, much a higher um, win rate for this uh, for this entire two hours. So I think uh, once last nightmare maybe last nightmare or, or or I mean LN or nonsense managed to capture this castle, I would think Guns is gonna uh, gonna have a hard time in the game with this as well. So I think they just need to be more uh, persistent on the push and same time keep on, you know, uh, putting pressure on the defense of um, Goods in Opus Day. Because definitely there's gonna be a uh, gonna be a small mistake on uh, on the side of Goods and Opus Day. And once that mistake is being capitalized by this alliance, definitely they can turn out uh, or they can turn it into a quick win on their side. Mm -hmm. They really need to spot a different opportunity for them yeah. to strike. And uh, we have some comments, of course. Uh, shout out, please, Papa MG, and Michelle. Okay, <laughs> so uh, MG Papa. doesn't want MG doesn't want to notice you right there. Um, Sorry, I'm actually focused on the uh, camera. <laughs> I'm shout out to Katari of Opus Day. Yes, Opus Day. Uh, let's go. Solid defense. Shout out to Dominari Red to Ars Def again. And I think if you really do want to qualify, yeah, I mean, it's, you need to work hard. Like <laughs> You need to work you know, hard, yeah, alright? You, you need to stick with the objective. Like, if, it's gonna be, if that's the uh, case for, oh. uh, for you to win, you just need to do it, you know? Uh -huh. uh, despite, uh, I mean, regardless if it's going to be a two hours death, like, you know, stick with the objective. Because mm -hmm. the bigger story is gonna be after the War of Imperium qualifiers. It's the 7 and 7, that's all that matters. Yeah. yeah. Um, like what we measured earlier, this is the prize pool for 7v7 though. Um, yeah, if I'm going to compute it, uh, I'm not it's sure if. Uh, yeah? So it's 3,000. So it's like a 5,500 
USD price pool. Alright, um, excluding the in-game items, of course. So if we include the in-game items, the, pre the, the prices of the in-game items, um, in-game and how, what they do, uh, you know, um, it'll be pretty a pretty huge price pool. It is. It is. Yeah, it is actually it is actually a pretty huge price pool. That's why, uh, you know, more players are eager to participate in GBG. Yes. Like, you can't blame them for, if they're just gonna turn to like for two hours. Like, you're talking about the 3k USD price pool or uh, for the first prize. So, you know, better stick with the defense rather than lose the 3k uh, uh, price, right? Mm -hmm. They they didn't need to work hard. They yeah. want to qualify. Again, last nightmare already has uh, you know their main guild qualified. So uh, I think they also want to let uh, LM Porkchop qualify as well and uh, Nemesis Armada and like, nonsense. What's, yeah, I just, I just want to know what's the Porkchop. Like, I'm not well, sure. We keep on seeing that on the last uh, Warp and Dream session with the Porkchop. So. Uh, Did we? Yeah, they keep you know, uh, they keep on shouting and uh, they're actually making pubs about it. Yeah, maybe they just like pork shop. I'm not sure. Uh, who does it? Who does it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you like pork shop, MG? I like pork shop. Alright. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Really though. So, hey, how about you guys? Do you like pork shop? For those of your four viewers out there, do you like pork shop? Oh yeah, well, uh, yeah, unless unless you don't eat meat, unless yeah. you don't eat pork, I guess that's a good way of uh, not liking it. But <laughs> the majority of the people, if you eat meat, you eat pork. And they're gonna push it now. Most of, and... most of the people will like pork chop, but yeah, last nightmare will go in for the push once again. Last nightmare really having a hard time into attacking the defense here of Goons and Opus Day, and also because of the the melee attackers right here. Uh, the goons is just uh, causing a lot of damage against the, the offenders right here. Last Nightmare couldn't even move for a bit. As you look at the AoE damage getting dished out by goons and Opus Day, they are really focused on uh, setting up their lineup or their roster for now to defend. Yeah, I just want to again, see yeah, again, they have this castle before this Warf Imperium okay. started. So, All right. Um, oh, they're putting like uh, multiple. Uh, yeah, they multiple have they have why? they have melee attackers right there, and uh, this is only possible for goons because they are the castles hold. They ca they are the castle holders. Uh, they are the castle holder rather of this castle. Yeah. Before uh, the war Imperium started, so they they can already set up a defense, and uh, which they did. And Opus Day just walk in, of course, and they timed it right. Of course, they need to have good communication for Opus Day to walk in. But yeah, uh, if they did manage to do do that and prevent the other players from, you know, uh, casting more skills and uh, uh, pushing in first. And because of the the way that last nightmare went to Eeyore Brigar first, it gave Goons and Opus Day the right opportunity for them to set make up. a good defense yeah. setup. And a Dominari really quick in setting up the defense there in uh, Eeyore Brigar. And they had help from Red Dominari and Arsenal earlier. And which made that castle really hard to push that quickly. Yeah. Yeah, I have a question. This is the uh, like the flag room, right? Area, the uh, library. <laughs> Are you inside, right? Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The the flag warp. Uh, yeah, no, no, no. The flag warp is in the preamp area. Okay. Yeah. The flag warp is in the preamp area, so it's just there. They can really set up their defense really, really well. Yeah. It's similar to Scoville. It's near the amp amp room. So maybe I think uh, the only uh, opportunity that they have here is if. Um, what do you call this? If opposite, because the behavior of opposite, they've been uh, going out every time uh, they win a clash. If they manage oh, to, oh, oh, they, oh, there's a last yeah. nightmare member actually in the stack of goons, I think, or did he got got eliminated? He got eliminated. Ah, I think he got eliminated. That's almost the first 
Yeah, I think using a uh, Guyaku thing can also do wonders for you. But again, um, with the defense of Boon set up right there, it's really hard to penetrate. Again, because they were the castle holders before this War of Imperium started, uh, they could adjust their roster to fit just for yeah. the portal defense. All right. So maybe they need to attack different castles for now. Yeah. Uh, comments right here. Hello, my friends in Goons. All right. <laughs> Said Primrose. Go Goons and Francisco. Admin like it. <laughs> okay. So Admin, Ad, Admin likes uh, pork shop. Mg. Hey, who? Ad Ad Ad. Whoever Admin. <laughs> Admo likes pork chop, so yeah, last sniper likes pork chop. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. So Nemesis Armada, I think they are going to be the front lines for this attack here in this castle. I'm not sure where Adonis and Infinix Reborn are at right now. Here in a uh, Kremhild, the entrance of Kremhild, though, uh, it's kind of a bit of a bloodbath. Uh, some Arsenal members are here as well in Kremhild. So, uh, maybe Arsenal uh, went out from their defense there in yeah. Sacred Palace. So, this is actually the opportunity for the other guilds to they strike to Sacred careful. Palace right now. Yeah, so this is now their opportunity to strike <laughs> Sacred Palace for now because uh, members of Arsenal went out to help in the defense of uh, Goons right here. So, this is their opportunity to strike. Maybe they are pushing there now. I'm not sure. Yes, I think uh, Goons is aware that um, the Alliance right now is making some adjustment um, um, to their pushes. Uh, that's why we are uh, we saw like one you know, last nightmare managed to uh, penetrate uh, the first lane or the the front line of the defense. Maybe that's the reason why we're seeing Arsenal right now because uh, they're they just want to have that extra security uh, for this castle. But again, Arsenal needs to be careful because again, um, losing new members on the defense side will can actually be dangerous for their uh, for their defense. And I'm not really sure. Maybe uh, it's because of the beef that we mentioned earlier between Last Nightmare and Games. That's why Last Nightmare is still keen on attacking this castle. Uh, because if they really do want to qualify, they need to spot other castles that. You know are easier to attack so if maybe uh they spot a different castle and uh, that will be better for them and i like how they set up their classical block i actually i've been dreaming about this this classical block this prevent yeah, like that this prevents the the scouters coming from goons to actually cast skills yeah they cannot yeah. really they cannot really use those can just, like, suras to scout yeah, anymore cast skills now Exactly. Yeah, they can peek, but they will get eliminated. And uh, they cannot use, uh, you know, those suicidal destructions immediately. They cannot front slide and suicidal destruction. They need to walk. All right. So, um, but what Nemesis Armada and Last Nightmare and Dance is doing right here, while that classical pluck is casted there at that portal, they are not really casting that many AOE skills on the floor. So maybe they adjusted their roster as well to yes. uh, cater in their attack. Yep. All right. So yeah. So your fans are also in the chat. <laughs> in the chat, <laughs> MG. Oh my goodness. You want to see MG on cloak? Uh, I'm not sure that's possible. Maybe if he already makes a console. Yeah. All right. So they are pushing right now, MG. Okay. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so M Nemesis Armada are the first ones to push in, followed by Last Nightmare. And uh, Mga Babaero, of course, is also going to be there. The emblems of Last Nightmare won't last long right here. Of course, uh, because of the high damage output coming from Goons and Obstate. Again, this is going to be a hard defense to penetrate. Because, uh, like what I mentioned earlier, they already catered their roster for the defense. Yeah, so that's why you can see a lot of AOE skills getting casted on the floor. Like, 
like you have the you have the magical damage here, you have the physical damage as well. So it's it's a big jam pack damage that you're gonna absorb. Yeah, yeah, if you can, yeah, if you're just gonna me, have like an M death armor, you can be crushed with that, um, like physical damage from from those RGs and all, and those GX as well. So, yeah. Oh. Actually, uh, can you turn off your effect for a bit? Yeah, Let me explain to you the the setup right now. So yeah, as you can see right here, uh, they already have their defense catered for or their roster catered for defense. They have a lot of AOE skills. Again, they don't have a lot of royal guards to actually help, um, you know, help them out into breaking an Imperium or defending. They do have some members like that, Gilding Cross, but only a few. Most of them are AOE damage, as what you can see right here. On the top side, or they're on the right side rather, we have some Rangers, some uh, Rune Knights, and those Sorcerers are there, Psychic Wave yeah. and Diamond Dust. And here on the front, we also have more Rune Knights. Yeah. Um, the, your, the Archbishops are also going to be there and uh, a Royal Guard at the back. And we have those Suras ready at the back. Of course, if they actually push in, Curse Circle will be the the skill that they will use. Yes. All right. Uh, but I think the only problem that they have is for this uh, safety boy. Like They need to be careful in putting multiple safety boys. I think, I think that will matter though. MP yeah, that, that will matter. That will matter, I think, because again, AOE damage, <laughs> AOE yeah. damage and long range, da long range damage. Uh, putting that, putting that safety wall will not matter. So yeah, um, it's not really possible to penetrate defense of uh, pushing now. goons. Like right here. pushes right now, uh, we're seeing uh, heavy pressure coming from it and they're not waiting anymore for uh, the entire group to uh, move in they're just going uh, one by one so i'm not sure what's yeah. the goal here uh maybe they're just trying their luck to uh you know push through this uh, defense of uh doom because i think nemesis and nonsense and uh, ln right now is just you know, they're just getting uh, slaughtered here yeah I'm not sure why why they are keen into attack. Uh, again, I think that's because of the beef that I mentioned between these two guilds. So I'm not really sure. <laughs> well, well, I'm not really yeah. sure. Well, well, to be fair, uh, we still have like a, a lot of time. So if they just want to uh, switch to Arsenal side uh, castle, I think that's gonna be easy for them. It mm -hmm. will take like 30 minutes again. Um, Arsenal doesn't have like any uh, tandem guild uh, defending, right? If if they're gonna react like immediately, uh, like a snap reaction, they're pushing uh, Arsenal. I think they can cap Arsenal's castle. Yeah, I think the Arsenal's castle here in Sacred Palace is easier to attack. Yeah. Uh, since they don't have two guilds um, currently um, hmm. in their lineup yeah. for the defense. Or maybe Red Dominari, since they don't have two guilds here as well. I think it's easier to, you know, attack the defenses of these skills instead yes. of the Kremlin Castle, um, that the flag warp is really annoying well, to hold. Yes, and I think uh, what's uh, what's what's happening right now. Opus, if you're gonna focus inside, the numbers of focus they on the defensive side is uh, is getting fewer compared earlier. They've been uh, going out and they're getting uh, killed one by one by LN Alliance. So mm -hmm. that's why fewer Opus Day is being spotted uh, in inside the defense. So I yeah. think that's their uh, trying what they're trying to do. Earlier we are seeing like um, like seven uh, Opus Day or more than uh, like ten Opus Day on mm -hmm. the staff, but right now we're just seeing like few Opus Day. So they need to be yeah. careful on. Um, you know, being killed because again, they don't have a flag warp. The only flag warp that's available is going to be on one side here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think what the last Nightmare Alliance needs to be, uh, you know, uh, what you call this? They need to be notified of is the 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 casting of this classical pull up. So if they really time it right, that classical pull up of. Uh, this defense will get recasted at this time before their push or when they are pushing. 
they can cast maybe some a land potenter there that will help them out into attacking so they just need to time it right when that classical pull up gets recasted but yes. if goons are aware and they are recasting it before uh you know the the timer or, or the duration ends they can actually uh you know increase the level of their defense but if they are just waiting for the duration of that classical block to end instead it's, of recasting it before it does it's really hard to time especially if you don't have like any vision inside so yeah it's really hard to time the defense or the the recasting of that classical block yeah so they really need to maybe use some timers <laughs> yeah and they need to use some timers though but like plainly one just playing this uh, defense perfectly like they have uh, they have answers on any uh, push there they have the melees they have uh, the setup for the melees yeah they have the setup for the back lane as well so this defense is perfectly covered and both yeah. the goons for preparing this uh, defense versus last night we're not oh ln not only ln but they're also facing um nemesis armada and nonsense as well yeah so, i think this is going to be the redemption redemption of so it's gonna be from one, what one. last nightmare yeah from last night what last night they did earlier uh last yeah. session but uh hold on mg actually uh quickly go to rottenberg castle i think adonis is preparing to push in on red dominaris castle right now okay so they are pushing <laughs> right now so rottenberg rottenberg <clears throat> wait uh, rottenberg. it's luina luina all right go, just go in just go in <clears throat> not sure if you will see yeah adonis is still there so while Rob red dominario has uh, a lot of players here defending this castle to enter the portal uh you can see here that adonis just trying to cause a bit of a, some damage here against uh red dominari and you can see that medusa's stare getting casted of course that is the um mantle of great nature i think oh yeah all right, that's a mantle of great nature that when you get attacked, uh, Medusa's stair will get casted, and it's an AOE stone curse. Yes. Well, my take for this one, for Adonis, um, hundred percent, yeah, they can actually wipe Dominari on the entrance. No doubt that they can. But the question is, what will happen in the second part of the castle, like on the inner side of the castle? Can they still hold it? Because again. There's no equal for this part of Imperium. They cannot, uh, most of their members need to run back to their staff if ever they're gonna go on the second level of the castle. Right? Mm -hmm. So, I think the, the, the most um, logical way on how to play this with, uh, with Adonis is just stick with Infinix Reborn if they are in an alliance. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think that's the uh, way to uh, to take this because again, mm -hmm. no doubt of their uh, like their PVP uh, capabilities. Definitely, they can match Dominari, but the question there is, what will happen inside in the pre-empress point? Can they still hold it, or how many members will be left out of that um, like 15 members? So they need okay, to slide there. suicidal destruction. Oh my goodness! Yep. And again, okay, so we just caught the on camera while. Uh, you are speaking right there, but hold on to that thought, MG. As you can see right here, Red Dominari won't let that slide. As you can see, that Sorcerer casts a Diamond Dust, but those uh, Royal Guards coming from uh, Red Dominari just using that, yeah. um, you know, overbrand. And <laughs> I saw a Rude Knight actually just use that Bowling Bash. Nice. I'm not sure why he decided to use the, that Bowling Bash instead of casting some Dragon's Breath, though. And we have a Soul Linker. At the Red Dominaris Guild. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure how that Soul Linker can survive though until the end, yeah. but yeah, they have that. Well, yeah, I'm not sure with uh, what's the plan of Adonis with this one. And uh, hoping that they can do a quick push with Infinix Reward. I think if, if both of them push together right here, uh, Red Dominari will fall back. Fall yeah. back to the preamp, fall back to their flag warp. Or if uh, Last Nightmare Alliance decides to push this castle instead, uh, I think it will be easier based on the structure of their defense here at the entrance. But I'm not sure if they have a defense set up inside, so I'm going mm -hmm. to check out while you're just there. All right, so that, again, me, I think uh, regardless who will take the, the break, either Adonis or Infinity Reborn, in the end of the day, it's under their 
alliance or just in case that um one guild is one defense is getting uh getting pushed uh, mm -hmm. the, uh, the another the other alliance guild that you have can actually snatch that guild uh, um, for your um, for your alliance as well. Mm -hmm. So basically, they just need to push in together and take it. And whoever gets it defends it. And if they cannot defend it, try to steal it. Yeah. Well, we still do have an R left in our turn war compare session. So if last sniper decides that they just want to qualify. Uh, they will push in on a different yeah. castle, but for now, I think they are really persistent into attacking um, the defenses there of um, what they call this of uh, goons in Kremhild. Yes. All right. <clears throat> so slowly but surely, though, Adonis is just having fun. I think they're just having fun here. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> in Kremhild, sure? though. <laughs> in, in Kremhild, I'm not sure. Yeah. Adonis um, is in uh, Rothenburg right now, right? In Kremhild, they have a classical plot cast outside. Ooh. They have a cast outside the castle. All right. Um, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So switch here to um, Secret Palace right now. Okay. Okay, so Sacred Palace, I think they are going to switch their attacks right here. So, no, Sacred, Sacred, not Scarlet. That, that's Scarlet, that's Scarlet. That's not part of the, what do you call this, the hot castle right now. So, Sacred Palace. Or it's a different one. Get the Sacred Palace. Uh... Okay, while you are doing that, wow, so many players arrived. Yeah, we do have a lot of players from different guilds here, Amir. Um, so fun, Arsenal Strong, Atoy, of course. Um, yeah. Okay, so if they decide to push Arsenal's defense right here, uh, they can test it out. They can test out the defense of Arsenal. Of course, Arsenal has two classical blocks on the floor. They also do have that slow dance captain. So, um, if they do decide to push in on this castle, I think that, that would be better for uh, this alliance. But again, well, Yellow Dominari will support in on the defense here of... Um, okay. Arsenal. So they actually spotted that spotted that uh, they are going to go here quickly. Again, they need to break the the system of the alliance that are defending. They have a hold they have a hold of all four castles right now. So they need to regroup quickly, maybe regroup regroup at the different spot, mm -hmm. then just push in that uh you know, the other guilds won't have time to react. Yeah. Because if they do that, it will be hard for the defenders to spot where you know the other people are. Yeah, but I think so, uh, they can actually do a big push on this one. Um, we are seeing like two pairs of Arsenal yellow is here. Maybe they can actually uh, ninja push on Arsenal's castle. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible. Mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely Arsenal and Dominari has a solid defense, and I really like. The communication between this uh, this guilds, the alliance of Dominari, uh, they've been really uh, successful on distributing their members from one castle to another castle to another castle, making sure their alliance is pretty safe and uh, you know securing that um, that slot. But again, yeah, like you mentioned, we still have uh, uh, we still have like one hour to go, so anything uh, still uh, you know will be uh, it will be possible to uh, you know conquer. Versus, uh, yeah, and I agree with you though. Uh, they can, they can, they can fake an attack yeah, they can in a different it. castle. Like, they can, can fake, fake an attack. Yeah. yeah. So if uh, they just set up, they can fake an attack in a different castle while they are setting up their their main offense in a different castle as well. Um, that will be possible for the attackers. But right now, the defending alliance. Right now, as you can see, they are all helping each other out. I think uh, from what I'm seeing, if Arsenal will split up right here uh, and support your Brigar, uh, Yellow Dominari members will go back, mm -hmm. as well as Arsenal members will help out. Then they, they, they will have a chance to attack Secret Palace, or they will have a chance to attack Rothenburg, yeah. which Red Dominari is holding. So uh, it really depends on the mind games that um, they want to play. Yes. 
Um, yeah, I think uh, it's one of the things that they can actually consider um, doing a fake push. Um, currently, um, I think the information is already out there. Um, for Goons, their tandem guild is going to be Opus Day, and for Arsenal, their tandem guild is going to be Dominari. Right? Uh, but the, the open uh, castle that we are seeing right now is the Red Dominaries um, castle. Yeah, it's and I think, I think, oh, the Nodin is uh, putting quite a bit of uh, pressure. Yeah, the, no, not really. Not, they're not. Re they don't have yeah, really they, enough numbers to pressure yeah. it. They can, right they now. can fight the front lines, but like I said, um, during the uh, I mean, on the second level of the castle, that's gonna be the hardest part, especially if you're using yeah. numbers. But if they do decide to have uh, maybe a non-aggression pack or an alliance with Infinix Deborn, uh it will put some pressure on Red Dominari yeah, if they do decide definitely. to push on a Rottenberg Castle. So I think uh, if these two castle, uh, if these two guilds decide to ally with one another, uh, they will cause huge problems for you know the defenders. Yeah. Um. I mean, I'm just really amazed on how 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 this structure is um, regarding for the alliance and how they how they fight right now. And of course, props to uh, Adonis and Phoenix uh, for them not to you know they still want to have their um, solo pushes and objectives. But if you're gonna just you know appreciate the the alliance and how they set their objective um, for War of Ethereum, definitely this. This guilds, they are actually uh, they set their their plans ahead like a two a one or two uh, two days ahead mm -hmm. just to make sure to uh, just to execute a perfect plan. Like what we uh, saw in um, Bento, we saw Goons and Opus Day setting a perfect plan for their defense, their lineup as well. Who's gonna scout? Who's gonna do a backup? Same goes with Arsenal's castle and Dominaris castle. So it's really nice to have this alliances uh, left and right. We have attackers and we have defender uh, alliances as well. So it's really nice. Uh, okay, so right now, MG, uh, the deep or the, the the attackers have split up their maybe offensive prowess. Mm -hmm. they, we have people here in Sacred Palace. We have oh. people here in uh, your Brigar. Okay, so they split up their their attacks. So maybe um, they're waiting for. We don't. We're not really sure where the main attack will happen. Or maybe if one attack penetrates, uh, they will uh, communicate with one another to you know pursue that castle. But yeah. last nightmare will have the opportunity right now. They are going to try and go in. But you can see the multiple dragon breaths getting casted on the floor right here. And the uh, mga babaero is still alive. Yeah, but uh, Last Nightmare is still alive. Uh, I think a member of Last Nightmare right there, not moving right now. But a classical flock got recasted uh, on the floor right here. But Arsenal's defense, they have some acid bombs getting casted here against Last Nightmare. Porchop or L and Porchop right here. So uh, because they have a split attack right here. Um, Yellow Dominari went all the way back to Ear Bigar. Mm -hmm. So they don't have Yellow Dominari to help them out. It will be a better opportunity for these guilds to, uh, you know, concentrate on their attack on a, in, a, in a castle. And I think uh, if they do decide to push in a castle, they need to spot which defense is easier to attack. Yes. And I think that's actually the right strategy for this one. They just want to put pressure on every castle, preventing their alliance to do a backup. So I think what's happening right now, Arsenal, I mean LN, and uh, mga babayero is just forcing the 2v1 versus Arsenal. While uh, the other guilds uh, like Nemesis Armada, maybe, and uh, Nonsense are uh, pressuring um, Dominari currently. Yeah? So I think uh, they they know the uh, structure of the alliance. Obviously, and Goons are strictly gonna be bound uh, for for one castle, and the rest of the guilds are gonna be uh, sticking with their defense. So a one v one scenario or two v one scenario for this um, for this castle is the the ideal strategy for uh, penetrating this. It's just they just need more um, 
like heavy uh, heavy tankers to uh, push through. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Thanks for reminding, Alan. <laughs> I got you, bro. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, sometimes it's really hard to. Yeah, yeah, we're we're too engrossed in the battle right yeah. now. That's why. <laughs> but we forgot. But anyway, we got yeah, we go. are we are uh, <laughs> giving away codes that you can redeem for in-game items. So all you need to do is to, uh, you know, copy that code. The first one yeah. to redeem that code will be able to claim the prizes in-game via Rodex. But uh, for you to input that code, uh, again, first one's first serve, uh, first one to input that code uh, will be able to claim some prizes. And the items you can receive from the codes are battle and job manuals, so blessing and agi scrolls, mystic powders, and fierce blessing. All right. And uh, we are giving away multiple codes every stream. So. Uh, please do stay tuned and uh, try your best in claiming that code it's very very quickly yes and by the way guys don't forget to like and share the stream share the stream guys uh, in order for us to invite more players to the game mm -hmm. and help the community uh, to grow its number and yeah thank you so much yes and while you are doing that you can see here right now on the floor Last Nightmare is lasting a bit longer right here, but you can see the multiple output coming from Arsenal and uh, You know, they have they are having a hard time into penetrating the defense yeah. right here in Sacred Palace uh, I'm not sure if Arsenal will keep this castle for now or Have another guild attack it like what they did last time but if they do have a defense set up right here, I'm pretty sure they are going to use that flag once again to go inside. Then to set up their yeah. second uh, second defense. Second defense. The, but, you know, the attackers need to be quick. They need to be really quick into penetrating the defense. They need to be quick into regrouping at a spot where no one else is there. Yeah. They need to quickly hold the flag warp of this castle if ever... They, they manage to push through. Yeah. Maybe once they push through on this one, they manage to destroy this uh, first, uh, the, the level 1 defense of Arsenal. Maybe that's the time that they can call in their full alliance to push in. To prevent Arsenal on, uh, you know, on pushing back and going back to this uh, spot again. Mm -hmm. But again, and every yeah. defense is really tough to penetrate right now. Yes, and right now though, you can see a lot of Dragon Breaths getting casted there on the attackers right now. Nemesis Armada, Magamabayero, and Last Nightmare are having a hard time into actually pushing in. And you can see here, the defense of Arsenal is really well set up. It's not really on one side only, but they are in different directions so that if you use a curse circle, or if you, you manage to go in and push or and attack the defense of Arsenal right mm -hmm. here. Uh, one suicidal destruction can eliminate a stack, mm -hmm. but there's also another stack that can that can help you out. And you can see here, um, those rangers there at the back, they are not really in the stack, but they are just moving out and about inside and outside that uh, uh, what yeah. do you call this braggy to attack the attack the the offenders of this castle right now. <clears throat> Yes. And I'm not really sure yeah. if uh, they are going to push different castles, but the defense of Arsenal right here is really well set up. Yeah. And uh, they have members, or the attacking alliance has members in your regard as well. Mm -hmm. But Yellow Dominari, as from in my opinion, from what I see, uh, they have a solid defense there as well. And it's harder technically to penetrate rather... Yeah than the defense here in uh, Sacred Palace. But if they do just want to focus on objectives, I think Rothenberg can also be an option since Red Dominari or members of Red Dominari is here. Maybe yeah. Red Dominari split up as well. Well, on, on my opinion, the I think the, the best option for this one is to uh, get Adonis and Infinite Reborn mm -hmm. to uh, join up their attack force. For this one, then whoever like just 
push through on the Imperial move or whoever breaks it, you know, will just take it. But the main thing here is just not to give or not to uh, give any more slots for the uh, 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 um, Dominaris Alliance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. And by the way, we kept, we kept on seeing pubs earlier. Like, yeah, uh, I actually. James. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I just saw a pub uh, outside Rothenburg Castle. I think that's Shirk from Red like Dominaris. Yeah, like Alright, shout out to you. My guy and this soul linker though and uh, i mentioned that earlier though that's it's going to be hard for a soul linker to survive in a battle but well, apparently in this case well, yeah so they, feel like they are defending you they, they are they are the defenders they've been so, surviving the war yeah maybe they're not really the they're not really getting focused of course like that because like, they can only provide support can, can my uh, gunslinger wear that item so i can survive on the war as well no your gunslinger won't do anything anymore, so say, but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah uh all castles right now have pretty solid defense uh i'm not really sure if <laughs> they are keen on uh, pursuing Secret Palace for now, yeah. or they want to push in on Rothenburg, or they want to push in on the defense of Goons and Opus Dei in Kremhill. But I think the only option for the attacking alliance will be uh, either your Brigar, Secret Palace, and uh, Rothenburg. Since all of uh, the defending guilds right here are helping each other out, they are yes. splitting their defense to help each other. Guild. So, uh, compared to Kremhild Castle, Goons and Opus Dei are focused there. Yes. Alright, so, yeah, the attacking alliance yeah. needs to decide where to put their main offense. Yep. Wow. Okay, so we have a shout out to my number one, Wallach Alakazam, and to Goons. Great defense, stay strong, said Diana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a great defense. Um, yes. Uh, they didn't go for a good offense that's um, worth it really, but definitely they managed to redeem their uh, uh, their name for this one versus Elton. So, very, very good job for uh, Gunsen, obviously. Yes, and like what I said earlier, though, it's easier to defend a castle than to attack. Yeah. Uh, Goons at the last session, because last Sniper has a hold of. Kogol. They are at a disadvantage because Last Sniper can already set up their defense for them. Yeah. Um, and in this case, Last Sniper is the one attack or LN for Chomp. Along with them is Armada, mm -hmm. Nonsense, uh, and Mga Babaero. Yeah. Alright, they are the ones attacking. So it's technically harder to attack because, again, you need more members. And for the defending guild, you can always set that classical pluck up. Yes. All right. So it's a uh, kind of easier for you to set up your defense than to set up an attack. So if you are catered, your roster is catered more on the defensive side. If you have a hold of that castle before the Dwarf Imperium starts, you can cater your defense like what Goons did. Your you can cater rather your roster. Uh, for your defense and uh, Arsenal did the same they have a hold of Sacred Palace before the War Comparing started yes. Opus Day has a hold of your Brigar earlier but uh, Yellow Dominari got a hold of it before last or LM Porchop did and I think that was the only castle that they decided to push yes. and I think in Rothenburg uh, Nemesis Armada has a hold of Rothenburg earlier so yeah. I'm not really sure why they like just decided to not yeah. defend it. Yeah. So maybe because they are just planning to attack a castle instead of defending Rothenburg. That's why right now Red Dominari has a hold of Rothenburg right now. Yeah. But looking at the defense structure of um, all three castles or, or, or all four castles mm -hmm. currently, uh, the hardest to penetrate right now will be the defense of in Kremhild, which is mm -hmm. Goods and Opus yes. Because again, they are focused on each other. They are the only ones helping each other out. We can see some bits of Dominari and Arsenal there. Uh, but 
you know, they are focused on really on just defending Krenhild. They are, we cannot see other members of Ghouls or Opus Dei helping out the other guilds right here. The next one, the next one that is harder to penetrate will be the one in Eor Bigar. Oh, yeah. Again, Yellow Dominari already set up their defense uh, before they actually captured that castle. So, yeah, this is a pretty hard defense to attack. Yes, and I just want to point out this one, like this Bob earlier. Somebody mm -hmm. just pointed, uh, don't give up. Like, I just really want, uh, like the, uh, you know, the energy there and uh, determination on winning as well. So I think uh, Nemesis is gonna try to contest on the old Dominar for this. Yeah, but... Again, uh, the defense of Yellow Dominari is pretty well set up. Yeah. It's pretty hard to penetrate this defense. Uh, the next one that is hard to maybe attack, I think it's a tie between Red Dominari and Arsenal. Uh, I think uh, both defenses have some loopholes that you can, you know, push through. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, all defenses right now of the castles are pretty solid. So. We might see a two-hour hold coming from these guilds, but uh, like in last session, Arsenal actually gave uh, their their castle to Nimrod. That's why they are still able to participate in this uh, war for session. Yeah. Ooh. But question yes. is, do you think that uh, they they made the right decision on splitting their forces right now on different castles, putting pressure on every castle that uh, that we have for the pointing system? I think putting pressure on different castles is a good option. Again, if you have a main force that is really focused just on the offense, you will put all your you know, uh, resources there. You, you can just use a fake out. You can yeah. use uh, someone to fake out on the attacks. But right, yeah, okay, so are, are they pushing together or they are attacking? Another, they're fighting. I think they're fighting one another. So, though, but... the alliance is is mm. not true. It's, mm. it's not gonna mm. happen. It's oh not gonna God. happen. We're gonna fight you. Like, okay, okay. Uh, that's good. That's good though. That's good. Yeah. But we might see it in the next session though. But in this session, of course, the large size guilds will be the. The one to dominate like, this Warframe Prayer yes, session in, for the GB like, qualifier. How many slots do we still have? Like, oh, we still have twelve more slots. Twelve more. Slots. We had the, the first four slots, which is um, Red Dominari, yeah. Purple Dominari, Nimrod, <clears throat> and Last Nightmare. So they occupied the first four slots for uh, GBG. They are the first. They are the first ones to qualify <laughs> for uh, GBG. And yeah. uh, Infinix Reborn, as what we can see right now, they are going to try their luck into penetrating the defense here of Goons. Yes. But uh, like we saw earlier, it's practically a fortress inside. Yes. But but I think if the LN Alliance can actually just go and do a backup mm -hmm. for Infinix Reborn, that could actually uh, be a good one. Like if uh, they're going to let Infinix Reborn just push in, then they're going to follow through. Maybe? I don't think that's possible here in Kremlin Castle. Yeah. Maybe in different castles it will be Maybe, possible, yeah. but to penetrate the defense here of in Kremlin, it will be pretty difficult. Again, uh, if they time it right, wait for that classical block to get recasted uh, or wear off before they push in. That's a possibility. Then immediately cast that land protector to help out defense. Make sure that sorcerer survives oh, for your players to go in perfectly. Okay, so it's just a <laughs> wizard. It's like that. That the, the the confidence. That's all I yeah. like about. Yeah. Okay. This one. Uh, I I'm not sure how that wizard can. I really like uh, the confidence. Survive. Of that What's the name of that wizard? Maybe they're just having fun. Maybe that wizard Goddess. just wants to... Goddess? Yeah, maybe that wizard just Goddess wants Elsa. to, you know, uh, get the feel of War of Imperium, <laughs> alright? So, yeah, if he but, just wants to make a, get a feel, but to he be also fair, has... I, I, I'm seeing signs, James. I'm seeing signs. You no, know, your gunslinger still won't survive. Uh, guys, right? I'm seeing signs right now. No. Woo! 
No. Second job. Soul Linker the first sign. Second no. sign yeah. Second sign right now is the uh, <laughs> wizard. <laughs> Let's okay. Go. Okay. So, so let me let me make out a scenario <laughs> for you, MG. All right. Let's go. So, are are they going to sacrifice their <laughs> classical bullock in order for you to le use your level nine train gunslinger and use that desperado on the floor? Well, the question there is why there is a wizard then. So meaning. Yeah, maybe he just wants to experience War of Imperium. I don't know. <laughs> Phoenix Reborn is uh, fairly new guild. Yeah. All right. So maybe. It's a new player. She just wants to. She just wants to experience War of Imperium. The Infinix Reborn is helping them out or uh, that player out. All right. But to be, to be fair, uh, salute to that person. <laughs> salute to you, uh, Goddess oh, yeah. Elsa. Shout out to you. All right. Repping okay, the yeah, okay. uh, second class, second job. Ah, uh, third class. Yeah, th second that's class. just second job. No, second that's just job. Second, second job, job though. Yeah. All right. Uh. Yeah, so right now though, uh, I think, okay, I think uh, Rottenberg is getting attacked by uh, the attacking alliance, but Yellow Dominari will be here to help in on the defense. Again, they've noticed it really, really quickly. So if they are setting up their attacks outside the portal... <laughs> I don't think it's a possibility that other guilds won't come in and help that guild defend. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so they need to be quick into setting up their attacks. They need to uh, regroup in a different area. Okay? But yeah, as you can see here, only classical block, uh, only one classical block and it's on the right side. They can move to the left and maybe cast an LP or Lamp Protector. And possibly that Numa, maybe. And uh, yeah, but Red Dominari already has a defense setup right yeah. here. But again, earlier though, earlier, if they decided to push this castle yeah. earlier, Red Dominari was all scattered up. Okay? But last nightmare right here, no classical plucks on the floor! Oh my goodness! No classical plucks on the floor, but there is a slow dance getting casted right here. And uh, Nemesis Armada, last nightmare, we can see here one sorcerer of last nightmare actually in the stack. Of uh, red dominari and yellow dominari right here, and uh, we can see mga babero, a cursed circle they, from from in that sura, and they're just uh, they're blindly in? going in. Last sniper, okay. So dragon breast getting casted, okay. So this is now the chance for the attacking Let's alliance go. to set up their attack right here. Red dominari will have a hard time defending since last sniper is consistent oh. in their push. Classical block gets casted on the floor. Red dominari just, just quickly. You uh, you know, protector? showing that they can do suicidal destruction. We'll go out here from Red Dominari. Last Nightmare still alive here in this castle. Last well, Red Dominari will go in for that support. Last Nightmare, a whole bunch of them just waiting at the same time. And Nemesis now Armata. we have a hold of oh. Rotenberg entrance. Okay. Oh my goodness. 28 minutes to go. Well, Last they Nightmare, they Nemesis Let's Armada go. Go. nonsense have a chance into breaking. The defense of Red Dominar right here. And again, Last Nightmare needs to be quick because the defense of Red Dominari may all be set up right now inside the castle. I'm not sure if the yellow one is the red one and the red one is the purple one for the Dominari. Uh, I'm not really sure, but yeah. that was a nice attack coming nice from attack. Uh, Last Nightmare, uh, the attacking alliance. Again, um, that... that um, Sura from Mga Babaero though. That Sura yeah. from Mga Babaero uh, casted that curse circle perfectly uh, against Red Dominari. Yes. And again, um, from uh, my own scouting right here, Red Dominari al already has a defense set up inside the portal. <clears throat> and uh, the numbers of Last Nightmare and Nemesis Armada plus Nonsense is going to be no joke. But Arsenal, of course, is going to cause some waves here at the entrance, as well as Yellow Arsenal Dominari is again. Well. Yeah, this is a hard battle for the attackers because again, the defenders are all allied with one another. Yes. So if they spot that one castle is lacking, they are going to support that castle. So they need to be quick in their decisions, the attackers. 
Yes, and what I like about this one, only uh, three icons is gonna be available on their on the enemy screen because I think on nonsense man to turn off their uh, logos as well. And sometimes it's yeah. really hard to uh, spot uh, a girl who doesn't have a logo. And currently, Adonis! Adonis Woo! causing some trouble yeah. right here. Yeah, like no but, lies, yeah, we'll I, fight I, here, I, we're just gonna join and kill you. <laughs> yeah, so nonsense I think just used a very very transparent uh, emblem right there yeah. but Adon is causing some ripples right here at the entrance of like Wolfenburg Castle. Fight, Adonis will just go through and wipe everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I am not I think I think they are just not aware that uh, someone is going to come yeah. from the you're, behind. You're going to love this guys like Adonis they, they, they just don't care at all. They just want to uh, fight fight and fight. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. And right now though, a last nightmare still has a chance or uh, the attacking alliance still has a chance to penetrate the defense here of Red Dominari. But again, um Red Domina or I think they already scouted this earlier. Maybe they are aware that Red Dominari doesn't have um you know that much members earlier yes. though. That's why Yellow Dominari came in for the help. Arsenal came you in. You see the reaction help. from the alliance of uh, Dominari. Uh, they know for a fact that um, last nightmare's alliance or Ellen's alliance is here now. Maybe they're um, aware that there is no uh, a solid defense inside. That's why the reaction coming from the alliance is is very. Uh, I mean, they're just going in. We're seeing mm -hmm. Arsenal. We're seeing uh, Yellow Dominari. Yes, and again though, oh, again MG, uh, they need to split their, the, the attacking alliance needs to split as well. Mm -hmm. Because again, uh, they need to hold this entrance for you know the other guilds to not push in yep. really quickly. Uh, same goes for the attacking, the main force of the attacks. They <laughs> cannot push in together because they really need to be aware to hold the entrance right here. But if by any chance though, if by any chance Adonis will hold the entrance or the Infinix Reborn will hold the entrance, there's a good chance that they can attack though. But Adonis and Yellow Dominari causing some ripples. Arsenal will be here as well. Uh, it's, a, it's a chaotic battle here at the entrance of Lockenburg Castle. Yeah. So yeah, Last Nightmare and Nemesis Armada are trying to push in right now. But yeah, but not really a like, lot of players yeah. got I in. I like the uh, the patience that um, LN and the rest of the alliance showed there. They just want to make sure that uh, um, like everyone is fully regrouped. They're not um, in a hurry to push in. They, do, they just don't want to mess up this push. That's why as much as possible, they just want to take their time and have everyone or their core members regrouped up. And most of their members are here as well. So. Mm -hmm. I really like that um, that uh, attitude coming from this alliance. Yeah, and you can see here, Yellow Dominari just quickly went in here, causing some trouble. But luckily for Last Nightmare, they qu casted that Numa really, really quickly. And yeah, we will lose some numbers of Last Nightmare right here, just preparing to attack. And you can see the damage output coming from the Sorcerer of... Uh, Red Dominari because uh, they are not casting skills on the floor right here. This is now the oh. chance for Red Dominari to push out. Again, earlier though, if they decided to push in, the defense was not that solid. But they actually just lost their chance right here. And Adonis will cause trouble here at the entrance of uh, Rothenburg Castle. While <laughs> Arsenal will try and help out... Um, you know, Red Dominari, Yellow Dominari is here as well. Last Nightmare uh, are trying to push in once again. And the Suicidal Destruction actually eliminated <laughs> like, everyone there at the entrance. Yeah, like, it's it's a really chaotic uh, um, fight. You have, like, two alliances fighting. And you have this one guild who's gonna jump in and will kill everyone. So, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's, and, it's a really interesting fight. Yeah, and you know, the the defense of these skills, the def defensive alliance is really, really troublesome. Again, they are helping each other out. Yeah. And the 
the forces of Last Nightmare or the Attacking Alliance is not really catered to go in for multiple attacks. They have more of the damage dealers like the sorcerers, uh, rangers, rune knights in their lineup. Uh, as you can see, they don't have a lot of royal guards here for Last Nightmare. Yes. Uh, they don't have a lot of tanky players. Yes. Um, suras, um, they have some suras, but not not a lot. They have some shadow chasers, but not a lot as well. Even with the alliance all set up, and they are more focused on the DPS that they can deal while defending a castle. Yeah. And I think they need to be prepared into adjusting their roster in different situations. I think that will be a good call if they are attacking or if they are defending. But right now, they are going to leave Nemesis Armada, I think, to defend this oh. entrance. But yeah, oh my goodness. That red domain, man. Yes, and uh, we have some uh, shout outs here. Um, hello, Alex, other halves and Primrose. Shout out to Gerald Paul, commander of Arsenal. Yeah. Prost Goes yeah. Siege. Uh, so Primrose. Uh, shout Arsenal out to Commander Gerald Jutsu of Arsenal. All right. Yeah, everyone is. Sh um, everyone wants to shout out Commander of Arsenal. Yeah, I think, but the Commander of Arsenal is really doing a good job and again. They improved really, really quickly and I really well. The, I think this is mm -hmm. the uh, event that they've been preparing. The Orphan Dream event and the GBG as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and right now though, they are slowly pushing in Last Nightmare. Uh, yeah, uh, that was intense. I agree with you, Alan. Go Arsenal is a Jep. And the uh, Sorcerer of Dominari is... Uh, really deals high damage. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, they use that Braggy, of course, inside you for that fast cast and... Uh, I'm not sure the equipment of that sorcerer, but yeah, it really caused heavy damage against uh, Last Nightmare earlier. But uh, it's probably because the the stats of Last Nightmare or what they used right here, again, like what I mentioned earlier, is catered more for defense rather than offense. Yes. Um, I so, think yeah. that they need to be aware of the danger as well. Um, I'm not sure what uh, what's the objective of these alliances if they're trying to regroup now. I think they need to set up a, a proper defense here on both sides because mm -hmm. currently they're just scattered around here and most of yeah. the Dominar players are uh, moving uh, outside actually this is a good opportunity for them to go rush in and push in but the question here is are they gonna move on with this entrance uh, defense uh, I'm not really sure uh, again it really will depend on the objective the objective of these guilds. Uh, and, you know, we still have 18 minutes to go in our current Warframe Perim session. Yeah. So they still have time to penetrate the defense here of Red Dominari. But again, the help coming from the other castles, though, the other guilds in different castles. And the roster right now of this attacking alliance. You can see... Yeah. Not a lot of them are tanky. They go down with a single Dragon's Breath. They go down with a single uh, Diamond Dust. Or uh, uh, what they call this? Uh, source, oh, yes. Other Sorcerer's skills. Or Ar Arrow Storms like that one. Okay? Wow. They go down quickly because of those skills. So they need to cater their roster. They need to cater their stats, their equipment. I think to focus more on the defense if you are attacking suicidal destruction landed there on the stack uh, uh, on top or beside a portal and yeah that makes it difficult for the other guilds or the other players to uh you know support one another yeah. because they go down in single arrow storm they go down in yeah, you know a dragon's breath so if they are going to really focus on their attacks yeah. they need to uh, readjust their stats, readjust their equipment, and probably go in for that push really, really quickly. But if they are not keen on taking any castles to qualify for this Warframe pairing session, I think the best option for them is to focus 
capturing uh, different castles for now and pray. They need to pray <laughs> that, that that the next castle that the, they yeah, will the conquer next, is going to be the, the, next, the hot uh, castles yeah, for the next session. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Alright, so that can be an option for them mm. as well. Okay, so we're seeing right now a uh, yellow dominari. Arsenal already backed out. Uh, we have one um, Arsenal here. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, the alliance for LN is going to scouting. Yeah. We and still have the opportunity to uh, move in and move out. Yeah, we still have 15 minutes in our current War from Perim session, though. Yeah. But I don't think they are keen into taking any more castles for now. Or maybe they what are is... regrouping at a different spot. Maybe. Or then just they just they will just rush in when the time comes. I think yes. that will be another option because you really want to have that uh, surprise attack. Yes, exactly. And if I'm gonna be on the shoes of uh, Ellen's alliance as well, it's it's really hard to predict um what castle mm -hmm. to attack, especially the reaction time of uh, the defenders. It's actually mm -hmm. on point as well. Um, mostly. The guilds that we have here is very disciplined when it comes to defense and offense as well. Mm -hmm. Or mainly on, on defense and regrouping. So it's you're yes. gonna you're gonna have a hard time on uh, dealing with uh, with the defender guilds here mm -hmm. in uh, the, the guilds in here in uh, GGH as well. So yes. I think you just need to maybe readjust the alliance. Maybe you, can, you need to talk to uh, Adonis or Infinite Reborn, maybe. Just to get that extra firepower, and yes, the uh, the other option that you mentioned is hoping that the next four castles is gonna be on their side. No need to attack; they're just gonna defend. So mm -hmm. I agree with you with that. Yeah, because it's, if last night we successfully conquers a castle that will be a hot <laughs> castle for or the qualifying castle for the next session, uh, as what we saw earlier though, or in the last in the first session. <laughs> Uh, they did. De they defended it really well without any alliance. Yep. So I think that can be an option for them. Then uh, Nemesis Armada, uh, nonsense, and uh, mga babera or Chow can focus on the offense, but they need another guild for that. Yep. So if they want to work with Infinity Born or they want to work with Adonis again, that can be an option. But again, um, from what I've been seeing, I think uh, Adonis is a so pretty solid guild, even with few members yeah they have their stats catered uh, to last well in warframe period so i think uh they have equipment and they have gears and um stats to sustain. you know manage yeah. sustain sustain in warframe period yes. so i think that's also a good thing for adonis even though they don't have a lot of numbers yes because uh, most of the players or a lot of players go down with a single arrow storm a lot of them go down with yeah. some dragon breaths getting casted or some single diamond dust or just getting hit by a storm dust again yes, reduce your HP to half so yeah um they need to yeah I think uh, other gear stuff as well mm -hmm. yeah and I think the, the attack alliance will not really focus right now on the, the conquering these uh, qualifying castles mm -hmm. But I'm not really sure if they are going to give the castles away, like what we saw last time. Yes. I uh, hope they don't. <laughs> I hope they don't. I hope they don't. Yeah. But uh, right now, though, the other four guilds um, that are the Alliance, or maybe Adonis and Infix Reborn as well, mm -hmm. maybe they are going to be focused in conquering the different castles right now and hope that that will be the castle that they will defend and qualify for the next session. Yes. Because again, I said earlier it's easier to defend rather really than to attack. Yes. We see a lot of people from the attacking alliance. A lot of players were there. They weren't successful in their attack. Even though they have uh, uh, multiple players uh, and uh, the defenders are only one guild. Okay, with, with 50 members compared to 100, the double the number of the attackers. Uh, the, uh, double number of the defenders, rather, the attackers are going to still going to have a hard time unless you cater your roster into focusing on the attack. Yes. <sighs> All right. It's really hard though, but yes. 
I think they can they can manage they can readjust their alliances their roster their stats for the next session. So we do have some shoutouts here. So keep the shoutouts going. Um, good luck, Goons Fratres Alliance. So okay. So my my hunch was correct. Fratres is in Goons. Ah. Okay. Fratres is in Goons. Okay. okay. So that's a good call though. Thank you. Thank you. Um, shout out FS Palaboy number one AB in town. All right. Mm. Okay, so it's the first time we actually shouted an, an Archbishop, bro. Yeah. And shout out to MG and James. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And uh, you're always there every session. I know it's only for MG, but... <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the shouts. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Dominari are still goons to love. Uh, yeah, I kind of like... I, I how like they the are I like the tandem it's like they're like one yeah but the don't forget Opus well. Day though Opus don't forget Day Opus Day yeah, yeah yeah Opus Day is there as well so you don't forget the, the, the lion uh, yeah uh, pretty hard to penetrate the defenses right now of these like just imagine we're, for, for me I'm not playing uh, in the Warfare Imperium but I keep on thinking what to do in order for to penetrate that defense Mm -hmm. It keeps on uh, bugging me, like how how the guild's gonna execute it, or how the uh, what's the loophole on this one? What's the uh, weakest um, spot to push in? It's really hard, right? Especially uh, if you're gonna be the commander for those guilds, like having that uh, multiple failed push is it's really hard because again, you're not only uh, taking yourself in, but also the members in the in your guild plus the alliance as well so the mm -hmm. pressure for the commander or shot caller is gonna be super heavy for this yes well i i agree with you right there but penetrating a defense or attacking a castle with a solid defense will depend in the multi in a multiple of factors again if you cannot see any loopholes in the defense it will depend on your gear if you are seeing multiple meter storms like what we are seeing right here yeah uh, maybe an Ifrit armor can help you out, or a fire resist potion, yeah. or some uh, a Pasana card can help you yes. out. Maybe just to tank the damage. <laughs> but again, you need to cater your M def. You need to. That's a stat that that got overlooked for a lot of time. Yes. For a lot of people, M def it is uh, M -def. overlooked. M def is overlooked for a lot of people because. Um, they don't care about MDEF. Why would I care about MDEF? So a lot of people will overlook MDEF. Yeah. Um, again, if you are attacking heavy magic damage, MDEF can, can help. Even though in War of Imperium, you get reduced magic damage, you still need that because, uh, yeah, you get hit by a lot of skills. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, and yeah, pretty solid defense though, but earlier the defenses of these guilds weren't set up that much the attacking alliance lost their chance into attacking these guilds when their defense was an at was a was slow they were all scattered earlier but uh when they i think at the one hour mark they already had their defense set up yes so the alliance the attacking alliance lost their chance yeah, I think uh, they, they need to, for me, I think uh, they over um, commit the, uh, their push on, on Kremlin earlier. Yeah, in Kremlin. Yeah, they over commit their push, wherein if if I'm going to be playing on their, on their scout, I would really love to scout first the other castles for openings. Because at the early stage, like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of openings. And those openings are... are like sometimes rarely uh like you will rarely see that opening because some of the players mm -hmm. are just going to uh you know to log in and all and prepare so i think on the attacking they should consider as well on scouting and take advantage of that um low uh, defense on the castle yes so yeah uh, yeah i think that's the uh, only thing that i can say they over get their offense to uh, wins and open yeah, and uh, I think they just failed to scout the different castles as well. But yeah, yeah um, the defending alliance we had the advantage right here in today's War of Imperium. Again, because uh, Arsenal has a hold of Secret Palace before War of Imperium started. 
goons has a hold of Kremhild. <laughs> Uh, Nemesis Dominari are just like the, the just yeah, Nemesis like, Armada. I'm not sure if they are allied with Last Nightmare or um, uh, what they call this nonsense and uh, mga babayero or Chow. Yeah, I'm not sure why they opted to not defend Rothenburg but to capture a different castle as well. Yeah, maybe they felt that they could defend or they could take down or they could uh. You know, capture your Brigard castle earlier than Yellow Dominary. Okay, so maybe, yeah. you know, they were thinking that way. And it really depends on your strategy and how you push through a fight. So, yeah, MG, while you are checking out the defenses here so that we will see all the real defenses. This Yellow Dominary earlier was Red mm -hmm. Dominary and this of Arsenal. I uh, will... Uh, of course, proceeding by promos and shoutouts to <laughs> the players who yeah. are here in the chat right now. Uh, shout out to the casters, you are awesome. Ooh, Thank you, Alan. Shout out to Verse Jamek number one. Okay. Jamek All right. Again, uh, yeah, so while you are moving out and about different castles, I think you can check out the defense of Arsenal. Yeah. Then the last will be Kremild, uh, the Goons and Opus Day right there. Uh, yeah, okay, so we mentioned earlier that here in the GVG, of course, uh, the upcoming GVG, that's why guilds are eager to qualify. The first place prize will be uh, USD 3000, uh, second place will be 1500 USD, third and fourth place 500 USD each, and in game special items for the first eight teams. And again, the item list information can be seen in the website, so make sure you do check it out. Uh, aside from that, you know, Corrupted Egg is still now available in the cash shop. Uh, you can obtain special items like sealed MVP cards or the exclusive Evil Scythe costume. Those sealed MVP cards, if you do decide to equip them, it can help you out in situations like this one in Warf Imperium. Uh, next will be the Royal Certificate event. Prepare for a surprise event with King Paul happening in major cities. Loot certificates to get exclusive rewards and stand a chance to receive a special costume, the hairband of Regenleaf with all stats plus one. I think um, some streamers of ROGGH are you know, sh showing the event as well. Uh, so make sure you do check them out uh, if they ever do go live. And a new NPC is now up, of course, in the server. It's Cunning Mage. It has arrived in Geffen. Visit him now and stand a chance to receive the grand reward, a golden majestic goat. Mm -hmm. And a lot of good events, mm -hmm. good prizes right now. What guild is this, though? Uh, they just captured this one. This is from yeah, what, what's the name? Uh, this is... Uh... Tried and Friends? Tried and Friends. Uh, okay, so they just gave this castle away again. Okay, so uh, yeah, Arsenal, if they did that, they're, they're they big. are going to maybe possibly uh, participate in the next session. So I think that's a <laughs> loophole that other guilds can see. Yeah, they're very generous on yeah. giving out castles. <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe it's maybe it's well, it's, it's, yeah, it's their sub guild it's, yeah. for seven v seven. So yeah, still yeah, it's not part uh, yeah. of the uh, like I think the rules, right? So. Yeah, but anyway though, um, and uh, another event we have right here is the Alberta Harvest Festival, because during this festive day, people come together to share food and burn all the bad <laughs> things from the previous year. Celebrate together with the Alberta Harvest Festival and receive an exclusive costume for Moon. Uh, that event will last until October 13, 2022. And the last but not least, of course, we do want to share the Razor Gold September promotion. From, from September 1 to September 30, 2022, recharge your G Joy account via Razor Gold Wallet and get in game items such as. Rabbit hopping or vassalage necklace costumes for free. For tier one, of course, 5,000 KP with Razor Gold Wallet, you can score a rabbit hopping costume. For tier two reward, 30,000 KP with Razor Gold Wallet and score a vassalage 
necklace. Mm -hmm. Alright. Vasalot. Okay, so uh, right now? <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> wait, are you okay there? Where did I get cut off? Okay, so <laughs> I'm not Vasalot. sure. Uh, yeah, you <laughs> get okay. the. I, <laughs> I don't know. I think I think I think my application just okay. hangs there for a bit. But yeah, there bus you. launch necklace. Okay, there you go. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> so we do have some uh, comments right here. Uh, shout out. This is Vadrak. Uh, uh, Vadrak or Vader? Is that Vadrak you is from Sword? Yeah. Is that is you that? from Sword? Oh, all right. So glad to have you in the the stream, my guy. Yeah. All right. So, uh, MG, did you show Kremhild? Kremhild. Uh, yeah, yeah. The defense, though. Uh, the defense of goons and opens day. We cannot miss that. It's actually done. Oh, 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 yeah. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, but we've been there earlier, though. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, so tried and friends, sacred palace. So uh, yeah, Arsenal just gave their castle to tried and friends. <clears throat> so they are probably going to be the representatives of last nightmare, maybe, or rather of Arsenal, maybe. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so for the attacking alliance, they didn't get a chance to you know take the castles like in the first session. Um, there were no castle changes until mm -hmm. the last few minutes when Arsenal gave their castle away to Nimrod. But yeah, uh, it's really hard to attack a castle if you are going to deal with the, a defending alliance like what we saw earlier. And hopefully in the third session that will be on the... Oh, the, the the, the 10th of September this Saturday yep hopefully though uh you know the castles will be all split up uh the attacking alliance needs to just pray <laughs> that uh, <laughs> the castles that uh, they will that they or that they took uh in this session will be the hot castles or the qualifying castles in the next session yes RNG let's go <laughs> all right RNG <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, so shout out to everyone in the chat though. Uh, Michelle, uh, <laughs> it's finished. You can, yeah, you can. Yeah, she can go. Relieve yeah. yourself. <laughs> well, <laughs> still, thank you for, uh, like, you know, uh, tuning in for the entire Yeah, thank you all uh, guys for tuning in. Joke, uh, like, sitting and uh, watching for the entire fight that you, you know, fold into our <laughs> live. Yeah, the codes got redeemed really quick. Yeah, I think. A lot of these, uh, the, our viewers are fast, fast in typing. <laughs> <laughs> They're fast in typing and they, they already have their account the, logged in the, 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 so that they can redeem yeah. their code. They just need to type it in. So the... they're just waiting for the, <laughs> the codes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what else? Uh... Self shout out, says CJ. All right. So shout outs to everyone who's watching the chat to yeah. CJ and Primrose right here. Round and round and round. What's round and round and round after? But anyway, though, uh, that's it for tonight's session of War of Imperium and the second day of uh, the GVG qualifiers. <clears throat> Again, if you want to know more information about the events and promotion here in Ragnar Online GGH, make sure you do check out the links and the pinned comment of the stream. Yep. Or uh, if you do want to ask about ask it ask about the events or uh, the promotions um, in the in the community, you can join the ROGGH Discord or uh, give a message to or leave a message to Ragnarok Online GGH here in Facebook. Yep. All right. So <clears throat> really excited for the next session of War of Imperium. Yes. I'm taking a lot more players will pop up since it's going to be a Saturday of course Saturday, Saturday yeah. is going to be a fun day especially for like, Warf Imperium I'm back Warf Imperium I'm assuming yeah. mm -hmm. 
a uh, good game well played guys and uh, Chris Roniel yeah. and yeah <laughs> shout outs to everyone here in the chat thanks for tuning in yeah. uh, our stream for tonight's Warf Imperium session and yeah anything you want to add MG? Uh, yeah uh, I mean um, for the, our next live guys uh, we encourage you to like and uh, share our stream as well uh, the more shares that we can do the more players that we can invite to the game so yeah keep mm -hmm. helping the community let's grow it uh and help together you know, for more gvg action and pv content as well yes all right so war for schedule <laughs> again or just a reminder saturday and tuesday 9 to 11 p.m gmt plus 8 next stream will be for Warfare Imperium is going to be on Saturday. Saturday. Okay, but tomorrow, uh, catch the stream of CMME. Yeah. I think it's going to be at 4 p.m. So go. make sure you do check it out live. Is and, she gonna, uh, what class is she going to play? Uh, we, we just see. <laughs> just see. Just see it live. All right. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. With that said, once again, we are your casters. My name is James. And my name is MG. And we'll see you guys in the next session. All right, guys.